All right, thanks everyone. Um, my name's Philly and Margarita. We both work for Cancer Council Victoria and in particular the team we're on is Quit Victoria. So our job is to train health professionals to provide smoking cessation support for those people who um, work with people who smoke and basically helping them to quit smoking. Um, just as a, a little bit of an intro also, we're quite new to Moodle at Cancer Council. Um, we did have another platform, so we're going to talk about that. We're still on the journey of implementing and putting things together and designing our courses. So we're learning a lot from being here over the last two days and hopefully we'll take some, a lot of this stuff back with us. So. Okay, so hi everyone. Just as um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of background about QUIT and about what we do. So as uh, Philly highlighted, we are training health professionals um, to help their clients um, quit smoking, basically. So tobacco kills more than 7 million people um, each year, and about 6 million of those deaths are a result of tobacco smoke, and whilst almost 1 million are as a result of secondhand smoke, so people who are exposed to tobacco smoke. Um, and on these current trends, it's estimated this figure will increase to 8 million deaths per year by 2013. So QUIT has set itself an ambitious plan to achieve a tobacco-free Victoria with these five key priority areas. And one way we hope to do this, achieve this is by developing and continuously improving tailored training programs to ensure that health, community and social service professionals are empowered and enabled to support their clients to QUIT. So our learners are general practitioners, so they are prescribers of medication and they deliver smoking cessation within their practice. They are, however, time poor, so smoking is just one of the many health um, issues that they discuss with their patients and it's not always a priority. So they have prior knowledge tra and training needs to be short and quick for this cohort. We have nurses, they have more time to spend with patients, smoking cessation is not a part of their normal practice and they need more training, so more detailed information and they may not have as much prior knowledge. So they also have to have access to tools and resources that they can use with their patients. Mental health workers, they deal with more complex cases, so various uh, mental health conditions, substance abuse, etc., and they need more tailored information um, and training. They may not have any prior knowledge, so they need more, more intense training. Um, and time spent with their clients will vary, so smoking cessation as well may not be a priority. Our community workers, they have little or no um, smoking related training. Smoking is not a reason to see their clients, but it does come up within their service. So time spent with them can be varying as well for different um, priorities and needs. And these workers will need um, information and access to tools and resources that they can use with their clients. Okay, so regardless of who they are, um, we see our new learners as connectors, creators, constructivists. We also want to um, grow our learner base. We currently have about 6,000 registered users on our system. We want to expand that and go nationally and globally. Um, and so moving to Moodle hopefully will provide us with that ability. Um, and as 21st century learners, um, that we know that our learners want to collaborate, they want to reflect on their own strengths, they want to work in multiple ways, face to face and online. So we need to be able to provide that platform for them. So the solution we sought um, earlier this year was moving over to Moodle. Um, we want to provide a platform that will allow us to offer programs that are flexible anywhere, anytime blended, uh, a mix of face-to-face -face and online, because often the, the training that we do requires us to have that um, practical component to it, easy to access and use and interactive and engaging. So the solution that we've got basically with our Moodle is our online training resources adult, based on adult learning principles and again combining that face-to-face -face training and doing that to enable and empower our staff and our learners. So this is an example of our old learning hub. 
Um, it was a web-based knowledge management system. Um, it was out of date when I got there. I've been there three years. Didn't have the full functionality of an LMS that I was hoping for. And most of our courses were very generic. Um, they weren't tailored, they weren't contextualised, and we work with so many different groups and sectors, so that's what we aimed for. This is the interface of our new LMS. Um, so we partnered with Blackboard and Moodle Rooms, and now we're looking at delivering integrated and enriched learning experience for our users, um, offer a centralised source of learning, and um, providing learners with individual learning pathways, um, and trying to do that through the Moodle platform. Again, what we had before was really text heavy, had minimal to no interactivity, um, really static pages, limited editing and development, and um, relied heavily on us um, going to our multimedia teams to develop any content, um, and not cost effective or time effective for us. So now what we're looking at doing is using Moodle um, and with the SNAP theme that we have, we've got a much cleaner interface, it's easy to navigate. We are now able to start putting together tailored and integrated content for our learners. Um, and courses are made up of modules. So we're redesigning our courses into clustered modules. Um, and we're also using uh, Articulate Storyline to, um, and SCORM packages to bring in to make our courses basically a little bit more interactive, a little bit more engaging and also provide a layer of information, depth of information. So that's just a little bit of the interactivity that you'll be, they'll be seeing. Um, as I said, content is laid and learners can choose to view more information if they want to. So if a doctor works specifically with people with mental health, they can then go on and click on something to find out more about mental health. If they work with pregnant women, they can um, click on um, information about pregnant women. So we're layering that information. Um, what we had before was um, if someone wanted to learn about all those different um, client groups, they had to enrol in different courses. Now we're integrating that information into the one module or the, the modules. And again, this is an example. So here we've got a group. Um, you can click on find out about pregnant women, um, youth, multicultural groups, and so forth. So there's, again, layered information in that. Um, and this is another example um, for health and community professionals. Um, and they can um, look at the slide again, click on different levels of information to find out about the different groups. And so with the courses we've shown you, um, we're trying to use a combination of um, the Moodle tools, directly out of the box Moodle tools, and um, SCORM packages. This course in particular up here is done completely using Moodle tools, only because we wanted, this is a course for GPs that they need to do to get their PDSA or um, credit points. Um, it's worth 40 um, points with the RAC GP, the Royal Australian College, College of General, General Practitioners. Um, and so um, they, we need to capture their data. They, they're going to take about 15 weeks to do this. They need to be able to come in, come out, and do that over the 15-week period. So we need to capture that data from them. Um, and we've done it all in using um, lessons. We've used databases, questionnaires, and so forth. So we're going to really, we're piloting all this. Um, we've got a group in La Trobe. We've been working with a group in La Trobe Valley now with GPs and practice nurses. And they're going to be our first pilot group to see how this all works. Um, we did have a little bit of a, a showcase to some of them uh, recently, and they were just thrilled at the fact that they could do this online, as opposed to having a PDF document that they had to go through. Um, and it was quite large. And so they were really excited about the prospect of being able to do it online and gave us some really good feedback on what that was going to look like and be. So, so for us, um, I've got there, it is going to be a game changer for us um, in the way we deliver our training and the way we, um, the new model that we're presenting um, in the way that we're clustering our modules. So basically, if it's a GP, like GPB having um, where Margarita was going through it before. They've got some prior knowledge. They don't have a lot of time. They may only need to do one, two, three uh, modules, two, three, four, and five. 
um, that's all they need. But a nurse who's going to be dealing with clients more may need to do all of the modules. Um, a dentist, again, may only need to do three or four modules that are relating to them so they have enough information to talk to clients about their quitting journey and how, how to help them. And a mental health worker may again have more complex issues, so they're going to do more advanced modules. But we're able to cluster those for them so that they are directly customised for them and tailored to suit their particular um, client groups that they're working with. So, yeah, it's going to provide us with some out of the box solutions. We don't have to rely now on our digital team and our IT team to. Um, do the content for us, we're doing it ourselves, it's going to be a lot easier, faster, cost effective in the long run. And on board with Quit Cancer Council has come on board now, so there's a whole new area um, of Cancer Council coming into using Moodle, so it's quite exciting. So hopefully next year when I come back we'll tell you how it all went. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's uh, great to see Moodle being used for such an important um, uh, it is. function, you know. Um, do we have any questions? No. Nope. Great. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Great one. I love what you've done, something similar I could use in aviation. Would you consider possibly allowing people that aren't doctors just having a look at your site? Because I think what you've done is amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. when we have all, all up and going, yeah, I'll give you it's my free card. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, they, I forgot to add, they are free courses yeah. which will be available from our website. So um, anyone, can yeah, do anyone can do them and yeah, look at them. Running, I'd love to have a look at that. Yeah, I'll give you my card and yeah, certainly. Thanks. Thank you.